Welcome to The Idea Space, a podcast devoted to sharing strategies and tools to help you make your dream life possible. I'm your host, Jen Liddy, a teacher turned entrepreneur. It's my mission to help women grow their businesses and get what they want without feeling guilty, overwhelmed, or confused. If you're tired of your ideas spinning around your mind and you really want something more for yourself, you're in the right place. Learn how to create the space to make your ideas a reality. I promise if I can do this, anyone can. Let's go. Hi, welcome to the Idea Space Podcast. I'm your host, Jen Liddy. And this podcast is a place where we learn strategies and tools to help get you into clarity so you can move toward your goals. And today I'm going to share two tools with you to help you do exactly that. But first, I want to tell you a story of a woman I was recently talking to who's in the middle of what I would call a total pivot in her life. It's a COVID-19 situation. She lost her job. Her kids are home with her full time because no school. Her husband was furloughed, and she knows it's time to take action. And I've heard the same story a lot from many people. They're overwhelmed about thinking, what's next? They're scared, they're unsure, they're tired, and actually, they're exhausted. They're more than tired. And that's why making decisions has felt so hard for them, because they're making decisions about things that they've never had to do before. This particular woman I want to tell you about, Kate, has had a side business that she's run like a hobby for a long time. She knows there's real potential in this business because she sees other people absolutely killing it, making money, having the freedom she craves with this exact business model. She recently took my messaging and marketing workshop and wanted to take the plunge into the next step of working together, which was my mastermind. And inside her head, there's a battle going on about what she should do. In one side of her brain, she's saying, I know I need to do this work to really know how to set up my business and market it. I know I need to grow my business. I know what I need to do. But on the other side, there's also the thoughts of, I'm so tired. My kids are home and they need me so much. And I'm worried about my husband and I'm worried about me. And I'm worried I'll never find another real job again. She's exhausted mentally and physically, as you can imagine. We don't make good decisions from this place. So she emailed me asking for some advice. She told me she's on the fence about the mastermind, but she was worried it wouldn't really help her because she feels so unfocused and scattered and pulled in a lot of directions. That's why I want to share with you the two tools I gave her to work through this because I know how unfocused you might feel right now. I also want you to know that I'm never ever going to talk anyone into anything because we have to make decisions for ourselves from a place of clarity and reflection. And so once you do that, and I'm happy to provide the help to do that, you can come to a place where you feel empowered to make your own right decisions. This is what I shared with Kate. There's two tools, and the goal is to help her feel more motivated, focused, and sure of what to do. And I'm sure that you could use that for yourself. So if so, let's go. The first tool is to think about today you versus future you. So today you is in a place right now where you probably feel defeated, depleted, tired, overwhelmed. And I want you to imagine, it's right now, it's June 2020, July 2020. And three months from now, it will be September 2020, October 2020. And whatever that looks like, I want you to imagine that you are there right now in the fall of 2020. And in the future, in the fall, you've got a plan to grow your business. You know what's going on with your business. You're not starting over again after a summer of floundering around. You know where you're headed and you have a strategy to move forward. Imagine that you've spent the entire summer carving in time to grow your business. You have a community and a coach to help you stay accountable. You've created a 90-day plan and you're working the plan. Even when it felt hard, you worked the plan. You have people to reach out to and get support. You go into the Q4 knowing what you're focused on, knowing exactly what to do. Imagine all of that 90 days from now. How does that feel in your body? If it feels exciting and the idea of future you is energized by all of those ideas, then you know what to do to support future you. Now, this tool isn't easy, but it's very effective. 
It requires you to get quiet, to call on your future self, and to imagine how she will feel. Because you already know how she will feel if she takes path A or she takes path B. You can do this exercise for both paths. Or if you have three or four options, do the future you versus present you exercise. Imagine what would happen if you unpack everything that would happen between now and then, and what would future you be feeling like? That's a very powerful tool to use. And I use this all the time. I use this on a daily basis, actually. So here's the second tool I asked her to put in place. I told her that there's a law of diminishing intent, which is the longer you wait to do something you should do now, the greater the odds that you will never actually do it. And frankly, all of us have had this experience where we've waited because it's not the perfect time and the longer it gets away from us, the harder it is. So in this scenario, go back to past you. How long have you wanted these changes in your life or your business? And how long has it been never a good time? What is past you feel? Frustrated, defeated, annoyed at her own excuses? Our past selves can really motivate us and create clarity for us. Don't judge past you. Let today you ask two questions. What do I want to do to make future me feel happy and successful? What do I want to do to stop judging past me and feel motivated and focused again? When my clients take themselves through these two exercises gently, they get the answers they need from within. And those are the best answers. Those are your intuitive answers. You don't want somebody telling you what to do. I promise you, you want to make your own decisions. Spend some time today and over the next few days getting quiet with yourself, like 10 minutes, even if you're just in the car, and think about past you, today you, and future you and how each one of those versions of you has informed the other versions of you. What emotions come up when you think about each version of yourself? What needs to change so you can generate the feelings you want to feel? Then, what action, what small tiny action can you take to move forward, to let go of the shitty feelings, and move toward the ones that make you feel energized? I hope these two tools help you decide what's best for you to help you learn to trust yourself, to make room inside your brain and your life for the things that you say you want. If you are considering joining my mastermind, there is still time. We are starting on July 7th and I have one or two spots available at this point. If you go to my website, that's www.jenliddy.com, there's a button right there for you to get on a call with me. And I'd love to talk to you about whether this is a good fit for you. And if you're saying, this isn't the right fit for me right now, believe me, I will offer this program again. So I'm sending you love and energy for a great week, and I hope you're able to make a decision that present you feels really good about and that serves future you too. See you next week. Bye. Thanks for joining me today. If you like what you heard, please subscribe to the Idea Space in your podcast app and tell that friend of yours who needs some help getting where she wants to go I'd be so appreciative if you left a review because then we can help more women create the space for their ideas too. Go to jenliddy.com forward slash free to grab the many free resources there to help you move forward. And I will see you next time. Bye.